How is it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be fixing, well, not really fixing, we're gonna be adding something that I wish came on my GR86. When I mentioned that I got a base model GR86, the one thing that I said I missed from the premium model was the OEM duckbill spoiler. Luckily, they sell them paint match with everything you need to get them installed, and they fit on the base model GR86, the base model BRZ, as well as the limited BRZ. And because the paint codes are the same across both brands, it doesn't matter that it's a Toyota product. With the base model, you get sort of this flat trunk lip that just seems a little bit naked and not as aggressive as it should be. But with the duckbill installed, it's gonna completely change the profile of the rear end of this car. And I am super excited to see how it's gonna look, especially with this red. You can see that the outer portion of the trunk, which I'm gonna call the trunk lip, is a separate piece. So we need to remove this piece so we can install the templates that'll show us where to drill the holes to mount the duckbill. On the underside of the trunk, there's gonna be this panel that we need to get out of the way. There's seven pop clips holding it in place, so take a small flathead screwdriver to pop those out. There's gonna be two electrical connections that will disconnect, and we'll push the grommets through as well once we have them disconnected. There's six of these eight millimeter nuts that we'll need to remove, three on this side and three on that side. Be really careful when you're taking these off not to drop them into the trunk because it is a bitch to fish them out. So what I usually do is loosen them and then I put my thumb on the end of the stud here while I unscrew it the rest of the way with my index finger and then I can grab it without it falling off of that stud. On both outer edges of the trunk, you're gonna have two eight millimeter bolts that you'll need to remove as well. With that, the only thing holding the trunk lip in place is the plastic retainer clip. So what we need to do is with the trunk fully open, we're gonna press on the black plastic edge here towards the front of the car to pop them loose. And once we hear them pop loose, we'll move to the other side and pop that side out. Because I'm doing this myself, I've closed the trunk on a long box and I'm gonna be prying this side up because I don't want it to fall onto the window. If you have someone helping you, they can hold the other side while you do this side the same way I just showed you. Let's try and pry this up. There we go. Now we can carefully pull this off and fish the wires out. Now, if you have the trunk down like this on something, once you take the trunk lip off, it's gonna to want to open because you're taking the weight off of it. So keep that in mind. It's gonna wanna just fling up in your face, just like this. It's so funny to see all of the Subaru logos on this car. Look at this, right above the Toyota badge. If you take that trunk lip off, there's a Subaru logo right there. And then if you look on the trunk lip itself, that of course also says Subaru, as well as the third brake light back there. See what we got in here. We've got the templates and the hardware, and of course, the actual duck bill itself. Oh man. Woo! Oh, I just love that red. This is actually a lot like smaller and thin than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Let's get this on the car. Trunk clip is off of the car, so now we need to take the three templates out of that large sheet that's included with the duck build. They're very clearly marked center, right, and left. So we're gonna use some painter's tape, get these into position and secure them where they need to be. You really wanna take your time when you're doing this because if the holes aren't where they need to be, obviously the duckbill isn't going to install correctly. So take your time to get these aligned. Once I got them in place, I'm gonna give you guys some close-ups to show you exactly where they need to be. I've got the templates installed, so I'll show you guys how these are supposed to look. Each template has a dotted line on this edge here that you need to fold it over on. So if I flip this over, 
the bottom edge is actually what you're going to be using to align each of these templates. So let's look at the center one here. This flap here folds over and the two edges go around this retaining clip here. So it needs to fit exactly into these two slots for the center one and pressed all the way down so that the dotted line on the edge is right on the edge of the lip. Same thing over on the right side here. Well, we're looking at it on the left side, but this is the right side. It goes into the gap between this clip and then there's this little wall right here. So it fits perfectly into this gap and it's the same thing on this side. This piece fits perfectly into the gap. So again, take your time with this, make sure it fits correctly and nothing is off just the tiniest bit to make sure when you drill the holes, the studs are gonna line up where the holes are supposed to be. All right, this is it. We've got the templates installed, so it's time to get drilling. We're gonna start with a small drill bit to get some pilot holes started, and then we're gonna utilize a step bit to enlarge those holes. Uh, for the four holes on the outside of the lip, we're gonna go to 3 eighths of an inch, and then for the two holes in the center, we're gonna go to a quarter of an inch. Let's hope I don't screw this up. Damn it, come on, we can do this. All right, here we go, fuck it. Just, just drill it. Ah! No going back now. Might as well keep going. We've got the holes drilled. It's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna test fit this to see if I drilled the holes in the right spots. Let's hope, let's hope so. Come on, baby. Okay, the middle fits. All right, okay, come on. It fits, we did it. Gosh darn it, we done did it. Thank God. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> We're gonna take the 3M primer and wipe down the surface. We're gonna remove the backing off the 3M on the duckbill. For this leading edge here, I'm just gonna peel the edge and we'll pull the rest off once we have it installed. Now, we can carefully set this on the trunk lip. Okay, pull the rest of the backing off. Now we can press it into place. All right, I'm gonna flip this over and we can install the included nuts on the studs on the backside. There's gonna be a total of six 10 millimeter nuts that we'll need to install. I'm gonna start with the two in the center. Make sure you don't over tighten these. Just need to be snug. This thing is ready to go back on the car. We'll feed the wiring harnesses back through the holes and then line up the studs and we'll press everything into place.
We just gotta get everything put back now and we are good to go. Again, make sure you don't drop these nuts. Don't forget to pull the rubber grommets through so you don't get any water in the trunk. There we go. We'll reinstall the cover. Don't forget to reinstall the eight millimeter bolts on the outer sides as well. And there you have it. It looks so good. It's so much better than just the flat trunk lip. Drilling into a car, especially a new car, is never a good feeling. It always gives me anxiety, but seeing the end result makes it all worth it. And with this being an OEM product, the fitment is spot on. The paint matching is perfect. Usually not the case with aftermarket products. I am so stoked on how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I have a ton more planned for this car. So if you're enjoying the GR86 content, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to show your support. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.